Welcome to the latest edition of Guerreros a Fondo. And this time we've got a, a special guest, uh, the newest member of the men, men's first team squad here at Santos Laguna and the first ever Dutch player to uh, to wear the, the green and white shirt. Alessio de Cruz, how's it going? How's, how's life in, in Laguna? Everything is fine, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Now, I guess first up, let's let's go with the most recent game. You know, you come on as a substitute and to score that goal, how, how did it feel to score that goal on your debut? Yeah, it was really special, of course. Obviously, like you said, uh, it took a little bit of time for me uh, arriving here. And also, I was not in the best conditions when I arrived here. So it took a little bit of time. And then after to make your debut and to score in front of the fans in our own stadium, it's really special. How, how's the, you know, the adaptation to, to life in Mexico and you know, life in, in Laguna? How, how's it been, the weather, the food? Yeah, um, the weather is obviously, uh, obviously is, uh, was a bit hard in the beginning with the trainings. But now it feels like already like I'm used to it. So, and with the food, everything is nice. I'm trying new, new things. What's, what's the best thing you've tried in terms of food so far? The best things, I think it was gorditas. Not too many of them though, no? No, not too many of them. <laughs> how's, the, how's the Spanish going? I've, I've read that you speak, you obviously speak English, obviously speak Dutch, I've read that you speak Italian as well. I'm busy with the, with the lessons. Uh, I, I, the club has found a teacher for me. Uh, she's coming to my house three times a week for two hours uh, per session, so. I hopefully I will speak in uh, in the coming months. I will I will uh, be able to speak uh, Spanish. You, you know, in general, in the training sessions and stuff like that, right now, just about the club, which which of the other players are kind of helping you out on the on the language side? Or Orantia, Arantia, is helping me really good. So everything uh, the coach wants to explain to me, Arantia is there to 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 uh, translate it to to English. And also Sejo is, uh, is helping me out with, uh, with the Spanish. Alessio, can you talk a little bit about you know your background? I believe you're from Almeria. I'm sure I've pronounced that completely wrong, but Almeida, yeah. um, you know I believe it's just outside of Amsterdam. Like you know, what kind of place is it? What kind of family are you from? Um, and, and what was like growing up there like? I, I'm born in uh, in Almeria in in Holland. Uh, until my tenth, uh, I was living there. And then uh, we moved back to Almere because I was playing in, uh, in the academy of Ajax. So it was really short. It's like 50 minutes driving. Uh, so that, that was nice to be, to be around uh, yeah, the club. Uh, after that, I think I played three years in the academy of Ajax. Uh, then I moved to another club in Holland called uh, Almere City, in the city of uh, where I'm born in. After one year, I moved to Twente. It's another club in Holland. Uh, there I stayed like almost every uh, every team until the first team, and after that I moved to to Italy. Uh, living in Almere was really nice. It's obviously close to Amsterdam, so you have everything uh, around you what you need. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was nice. It was calm. And and where did the passion to you know kind of play? Obviously in in the Netherlands, it's kind of part of the culture, no? But but for you personally, how did you get into playing? Was it like through family, friends in the street? Kind of how was it? How did it come about? I was really young when I started to playing football. I was like four years old, and then uh, my dad uh, brought me to a club in a, in a, in the small town we lived in. We used to live in. Uh, so I was already four when I was playing, and obviously every time, uh, every time uh, after school, every time with, with friends uh, on the streets, and uh, yeah, I never stopped playing. Nice. And, and how did you get spotted by Ajax? Just in local leagues, or? Yeah, in the in the local local league with my. Uh, it was a really small small club in the in the town. Yeah, a scout came from from Ajax, and uh, he, he explained to my dad that uh, I can do on trial for for the club, and. Uh, after I was accepted. And like obviously, you know, the, the Ajax Academy is like, you know, everybody in the world knows about it. I mean, it's rare to speak to somebody who's actually been involved in it. I mean, for you, what, what, what kind of makes it special? What makes it kind of stand out? Well, for me, it makes it stand out like um, everything they have there in the complex, it's, it's uh, like top class. So everything you need as a football player, even if you're 10 years old, everything you need is there. And also like, it's not only about football there, it's also about um, developing uh, as a person. So it's not only about football and I think that's really special. Not every club does that. And, and when you were younger, were there any players in particular that you kind of looked up to? Like, you know, you know, big names that you like, I, I like the way that guy plays. I want to, you know, kind of emulate what, how, how he goes about things. Yeah, uh, I had just one player, it was Cristiano Ronaldo for me. 
and it still is. So, uh... Nice. Not bad. It's not, not a bad player, is it? <laughs> <laughs> like I was looking on a couple of, you know, kind of websites and stuff and um, on your profile, it's got the, the Cape Verde flag uh, next to the, to the Netherlands flag. What's the, what's the history there? Is that come from your parents, your grandparents? Or? Uh, from my grandparents. Uh, from my dad's side, so uh, they was born in uh, Cabo Verde. Uh, then they moved to Portugal. There was my dad born, and after they c came to Holland. So you speak some Portuguese or, or not really? No, that's the thing. No, I don't speak it. No, I hope one day I will learn it. People in the club they must have told you about Janini and yeah, yeah, uh, Janini yeah, Tavares yeah, and his history there. Yeah, yeah, they did. They he did really good there. They told me, and uh, he's from the same, obviously from the same country. I hope to. Uh, so one day uh, do as good or maybe even do better than him. Yeah. Nice, yeah. I think he won two titles, so it'd be, uh, yeah, it'd be nice yeah. knowing the next, yeah, the next really few really years nice. to, to lift a couple of trophies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and, and obviously, you know, coming you know a long way from where you're from, you're living here on your own. Do you bring other people? Do you bring family members? Or, or how have you gone about that? Uh, no, uh, at the moment, there's just one friend there. He came, he's also from Holland. He came to, to visit me, I think, two weeks ago, and he's still here. So it's good to have somebody around who speaks uh, who speaks Dutch with me. But also, of, of course, family will come and visit me, like my sister, my mom, my my daughter, Alina. And unless you're like kind of off the field, like I know that people fans of Santos Laguna be like following your Instagram, and you know, especially before you signed, I think they were they were you know you were giving them a tour of. Of the, of the whole city and everything but um when when you're not training when you're not playing what kind of things do you like to do off the field i like to be a lot uh, at home uh, i'm really enjoying being at home uh, doing my own things for example after a hard training session or a double training session i like to to have a lunch and then go to rest a bit sleep a bit wake up maybe read a book or um, uh, see netflix Watch a uh, watch a series and um, and like being being completely honest before like you know you got the call from whoever you got the call from saying Santos Laguna Liga MX club are interested in you kind of what did you know about the league and the club last year November uh, there was the first uh, contact with Santos my manager came to my house and he, he explained me about uh, Santos is interested and. Uh, of course, I didn't know a lot about the Mexican football or, or even the Club Santos Laguna. So then I was checking on, on, uh, on the internet and I see in the past uh, years they won a lot of trophies. Um, they, they're playing with young players, they want to develop the players. So, of course, uh, directly I was interested. I was really excited to, to go here because I already felt that I needed a new experience, like I've been in England to play, I've been in Italy, in Holland, but I had the feeling that I want something completely different and that's why I was really happy with, with the offer from Santos. No, definitely. And, you know, looking at the Santos squad right, right now, you know, you've got players like Doria Ran, Otero, um, Doria, who, who all played over there in Europe and they've come in and, you know, obviously important parts of the squad right now did that kind of did you look at the squad and think oh these guys have come from europe to santos and they're doing well yeah of course it's interesting to see that they have been in europe where i was also and that they're really doing good there and that they're internationals so yeah of course it's something uh, i hope to 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 manage for myself one day from what you've seen so far of the, of the mexican league how does it pe compare to like the eddie dvc you know the championship yeah it's it's a lot different like for my feeling, here in the league, uh, you, you don't have any rest. The game is going up, up and down the whole, like 90 minutes. I think in Europe, you have also parts in the game that uh, uh, the team tries to keep the ball and uh, have good possession with the ball and from there on try to attack. But from the games which I've seen uh, so far, it was only like attack, defend, attack, defend. So I think that's the biggest difference. Attractive, not to watch, especially for the yeah, yeah, it's attractive, yeah, really attractive, yeah. And and last season you played at uh, Groningen with um, with Iron Robin, who's obviously you know kind of a legend, not just in the Netherlands but kind of worldwide. What did you kind of learn from playing with 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 you know with an attacking player like yourself, yeah, like, but but who's played at that kind of top top level? Uh, to be honest, uh, it was a really nice guy, of course, but it was more a guy. Uh, who is on himself and didn't speak a lot but what what i learned from him was like every training even if it's something small or or big everything he does is like 110 percent 
So, so that's the biggest thing I, I've learned from him. You never, you never mentioned the 2014 World Cup and the penalty or anything like that? No, I, I never did. <laughs> I never admitted that he dived or anything? Or? No, no, I never did. <laughs> Obviously, you know, Profi Almada, the style of play, you know, the intensity, the high press, the, you know, attack, attack, attack. There's no kind of, this one gear and it kind of seems to be forward, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. How, how do you think that kind, those kind of characteristics of the, of the the style of play fits with your game? Is that something you kind of, you're enjoying right now? Yeah, I am. Of course, I have to develop uh, uh, the physical part a bit more to be able to press like 90 minutes. It fits with me, yes. I, I like to be, be uh, directly to the goal. So uh, the faster, the better. And that's in this league. <laughs> they try to be as fast as possible to the goal. You know, we've only had a, a brief glimpse of, of what you can do, obviously, in, in your debut. But from what I've read, you can pretty much play four positions, you know, both wings, number nine and then just behind as a second striker yeah that's true is, is there kind of a preference about about your position maybe on the right cutting into your left or or, or how do you see your, your kind of ideal position i think my ideal position is behind the striker behind the, the first forward i think it's my best position but like you said i can play on all the four uh, positions in attack so Whatever the coach needs me, uh, I will be ready. And obviously, you know, you you, you obviously know that the you know Santos Laguna's nickname is Los, son, Los Guerreros, yeah, you know, yeah. the Warriors. Yeah. Um, I don't know, and I, I think the fans at Santos, you know, they expect the, the the players to kind of, as a minimum, to be fighting for those ninety minutes. I mean, I don't. Know, do you buy into that mentality? Do you see it as something that 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 is that fits with exactly who I am as a person? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, this, I, I like to give 100% on the pitch uh, to fight for the team, for the fans, uh, for myself, of course. So I think that that fits good. And also, it's not only the fans as, as expecting this, but also the coach. He like the pressing is is like almost war. So it's, <laughs> almost war. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really hard, but yeah, I think it fits me good. And, and and obviously, you know, comparing not just on the field but off the field, from what you've seen, obviously in the in the European clubs you've been at, how does the facilities at Santos at Santos Laguna compare to to what you've seen elsewhere in in Europe? Uh, in Holland, I think um, in the first league, everybody has quite good facilities, but this is something else for me uh, compared to to the other clubs I played in. I think this this club has the best facilities. You know, unless you're obviously the first Dutch player for Santos Laguna, have you got you know a message for the fans out there who are obviously you know after especially after that debut and are looking forward to, to seeing more from you? Yes, I have a, a quick message. Uh, I want I really want to thank uh, thank them for the support. Uh, it was an amazing night for me. Uh, happy to score in front of the fans and to cheer with them. My goal, and I hope to be. Uh, able to cheer in more goals with them. How have they treated you? Like I know you say you know you like to stay in quite a lot, but but you know when you do go out to eat or you go, do go out to do things, like what's the what's the reaction from the fans towards you? Um, sometimes when I go out, uh, some people try to have a conversation or to make a quick photo. I think it's nice. Uh, I always have time for this, and yeah, I like I like to be to have the communication with the fans. It's important for me because you're not only playing for the team or for yourself, but also for the fans. So yeah, it's good to have the communication. No, thanks. Thanks a lot for your time, Alessio. And, and obviously, best of luck for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon.